Hi, Bill here with Skywalker AV Supply. Uh, today I'd like to tell you about the new RET 3500, which is a brand new AHD model from Retina. Uh, the AHD is analog high definition. This means you get a 1080p picture out of a, out of a 1080p camera over your existing coax and all you have to do is put in the new box. Uh, as you can see, on the screen first, when you first turn on, you're going to get a configuration wizard. Um, you just hit next. It takes you to login, which is uh, no password at all. Just leave that blank and hit OK. Uh, here you're going to set your time, the day and the date. And you can also set it for 24 hour or 12 hour AM PM format. Uh, and you can also choose the language you want to use. Uh, hit the next button. Uh, here's where it's going to test uh, the network to make sure that you're uh, actually on uh, connected to a router. Uh, this is a really good tool to have because um, you're going to want to make sure that um, you're connected and you didn't forget to plug in the Ethernet cable like I've done many times. Um, in this case we're getting an error because I've actually change the settings in here for an example to show you how the router can help you set it up and we'll get to that screen in a minute. Uh, I'm going to go to the next one and that takes us out of the wizard. Now when I right click I go to the main menu and here you're going to see several categories all the things that you need to set up the unit quickly. Uh, in the general section, of course, you pretty much have the same thing that the wizard did already. Uh, a few more settings there to look at. Uh, the record section will let you set up per channel whether you want to do full 24-hour recording or whether you only want to record certain times of the day or if you want to record uh, some times on motion and some on full recording. Uh, many options there, uh, recording qualities, uh, and you can set them all here per channel, so it's pretty versatile. You'll also notice over here on the right side of the screen it says Extra Stream. Right here, this is what streams out through the internet to your uh, phone app, or if you're using or viewing on a remote PC uh, or a tablet remotely, this is the, uh, the amount of data and the speed of the stream. So this is always going to be lower than the mainstream um, because you have to go through the web. Uh, this can be useful right here if the customer has a very slow web connection. Uh, you can lower the settings here so that the camera pictures will pop in quicker when they're using the app. Uh, next tab is the all important network screen. Um, the first thing you'll notice at the top here is it says static IP. Uh, that would be uh, where you would put plug in the numbers yourself. I know some of you guys like to do that. Um, that's fine. Uh, you know, you're well versed with all your different routers and so forth. Uh, but if you're just starting out doing these or you just want to do it uh, a quick way, you can go up and change it to DHCP. This is where the DVR will dynamically accept an IP address from the router. Uh, where it says gateway, that is actually the router's IP address. And that's very important to know. Now, I've gone through ahead of time here and put in some numbers that you don't normally see um, here to illustrate uh, how the router can talk to the DVR. Okay, now I'm going to set it for DHCP. and hit apply, save it, exit the screen, and go back into the main menu, back to the network screen, and it has given it an IP address. Also, you're gonna have uh, two port numbers on here. Media port is 34567, you might wanna make a note of that. And the HTTP port is 80. I'm going to make a note of that also. After you get these numbers from the router and you know the router's address, you can take it off of DHCP and return it to static. Hit apply 
and okay. Okay. There's a few other settings on that screen. You have the alarm settings. Uh, here's where you can set up your motion detection. Again, you can do it per channel and you can customize it. You can mask out parts of the screen. You don't want the camera to see for motion. Um, you can also set the intervals and the sensitivity. Uh, right here on this model, this is a new feature on these where it says switch. I can go into channel type and I can set whether I'm using a 960H uh, analog or regular analog cam or a 720p AHD or 1080p AHD. Uh, our new models are all 1080p on the AHD product. Uh, but I could go in and say, okay, I want eight channels, all eight channels to be uh, 1080, or I want all eight channels to be 960, or I want a mixture of both. This is really handy because you can set up uh, using some of the customer's existing analog cameras. You can add a few AHD cams in, which look excellent, provide a great quality side by side with their old analogs. Uh, definitely a selling point for new cameras. Last tab is system. This is going to be where you manage your hard drive. It tells you the size of it and the disk space that you have. If you have to format it, you can do that here on this screen. Uh, you've got your PTZ configuration for your pan tilt zoom cameras if you have any of those. Uh, another nice feature on this is you don't need to run a separate two wire uh, out to the cam for the uh, RS-485 data. Uh, this, these models now will run it right down the coax for you. And if we go back to the main screen uh, if I right click, I can do all kinds of things like I can search for playback. I can actually set up color settings, uh, brightness and contrast for each camera on the screen. I can do many things here. I can uh, set the amount of views on the screen. So it's an extremely versatile unit, easy to set up, and it's available right here at Skywalker AV Supply. Thanks for watching.